The path to fluency in English. Fluency in English, what does it really mean, and how can you achieve it? For many people, fluency feels like a far-off goal, something that requires years of study, endless vocabulary lists, and perfect grammar. But let me tell you, while becoming fluent does require dedication, it doesn't need to be complicated or take years. In fact, with the right strategy and consistent practice, fluency is well within reach for anyone willing to put in the effort. So, what is fluency? Fluency isn't about knowing every single word in the dictionary or speaking with a perfect accent. It's about communicating comfortably and confidently, understanding and being understood by others. Imagine talking with someone and expressing your ideas freely without struggling to find the right words or feeling nervous about making mistakes. This is the kind of fluency we're aiming for, and it's a goal that anyone can achieve with the right mindset and approach. In this video, I'll guide you through the most effective steps to help you move from where you are now, whether that's a beginner or intermediate level, all the way to fluency. We'll break down the path to fluency into simple, manageable steps so you know exactly where to focus your efforts and avoid common pitfalls. The key to success in learning English isn't cramming. It's about practicing consistently, immersing yourself in the language, and building confidence day by day. Think of it as a journey where every small step forward counts. So. Why does strategy matter so much? Imagine two people, both wanted to learn English. One tries to memorize lists of words and focuses only on grammar exercises, while the other balances speaking, listening, reading, and even a bit of writing right from day one. Who do you think will improve faster? The second person, of course, because they're developing practical skills that can be used in real conversations. This is why our approach is different. We focus on real, effective methods that build both confidence and ability. And of course, consistency is just as important. Think of fluency like a plant that grows little by little. You wouldn't water it once and expect it to grow overnight. You water it regularly, give it sunlight, and watch it flourish over time. The same goes for English. Practicing a little bit every day or every week will lead to real progress. Don't worry if you're busy. You don't need hours each day. Even 10 or 15 minutes daily can make a big difference. By the end of this guide, you'll have all the tools and tips you need to make real progress. So, if you're ready to stop wondering and start working toward fluency, stick with me and let's dive in. Step 1. Mastering Survival English Before diving into complex vocabulary and grammar, it's essential to start with the basics, what we call survival English. This is the essential language that helps you communicate your needs, ask questions, and handle everyday situations in an English-speaking environment. Think of it as the foundation of a house. You need a solid base before you can build anything more advanced. Mastering Survival English will give you the confidence to communicate even if you're not yet fluent. So, what exactly is Survival English? It's a set of simple, essential words and phrases that cover daily interactions. Imagine you're in a country where no one speaks your native language. You might not be able to form complex sentences, but you could say keywords like food, help, bathroom, or doctor to communicate what you need. These words may seem basic, but they're incredibly powerful in real life situations. For example, let's say you're in a restaurant. You could say, menu please, to ask for the menu or water if you want a glass of water. You don't need perfect grammar for people to understand you, as long as you know these core words. The goal here isn't to be grammatically accurate or to impress anyone. It's to be understood, to communicate your needs, and understand others. Here are a few examples of essential words and phrases in survival English that you can use almost anywhere. 
Greetings and politeness. Knowing how to greet people and use polite expressions is fundamental. Words like hello, please, thank you, and excuse me go a long way in making conversations more friendly and respectful. Asking for directions. You might need to ask for directions or assistance. Learn phrases like, where is, how can I get to, and is this the right way? These are useful if you need help finding a place. Basic needs and safety. Essential phrases include, I need help, call a doctor, or is there a pharmacy nearby? Knowing how to ask for assistance is incredibly helpful, especially in emergencies. Ordering food or shopping. Words like price, menu, how much, and water allow you to communicate effectively in shops, markets, or restaurants. For example, saying how much when you're pointing at an item is enough to ask for the price, even if you don't know the full sentence. Common actions. Simple verbs like go, stop, want, and need are helpful. Combine these with nouns to form sentences, even if they're not perfect. For example, I need help or I want food. These phrases may seem limited, but they're the building blocks of communication. Once you're comfortable with survival English, you'll find it easier to handle everyday conversations and you'll gain confidence in using English. Now, it's essential to practice these phrases regularly. Use them in daily life if possible or practice them at home by saying them out loud. Imagine yourself in different scenarios like ordering food, asking for help, or shopping, and practice saying these key phrases. Repetition helps build familiarity, and soon these words will come to mind naturally when you need them. Remember, learning survival English isn't about perfection. It's about building the confidence to communicate. Once you have this foundation, you'll be ready to take on more complex topics and conversations. With a little practice, you'll find that speaking and understanding English becomes much less intimidating. Step two, start speaking from day one. One of the biggest mistakes language learners make is waiting until they feel ready to start speaking. But the truth is, waiting often only builds up more fear, making it harder to start. To become fluent, you need to practice speaking from the very beginning. The goal isn't perfection, it's progress. And the more you speak, the faster you'll improve. Imagine learning to ride a bike. You don't read manuals about balance and physics for months before getting on the bike. You hop on and start practicing. The same applies to learning English. Speaking is a skill that needs real time practice. The sooner you start, the quicker you'll develop confidence. Why speaking from day one is key. Learning to speak English from day one helps you break down the mental barriers that can make language learning seem overwhelming. Starting early builds confidence. By practicing early on, you become more comfortable with the idea of speaking English, even if it's imperfect. Each time you speak, it feels a bit easier. Strengthens memory. When you speak, your brain works harder to recall words and phrases, which helps solidify your memory and reinforce your vocabulary. Reduces fear of mistakes. The more you speak, the more you realize that mistakes are a natural part of the process. This helps eliminate the fear of not being good enough. Mistakes are often what hold people back from speaking. But every mistake is a chance to learn. Each time you stumble over a word or say something incorrectly, you're actively learning, which is far more valuable than memorizing grammar rules without ever practicing them in real conversations. How to start speaking today. Starting small and gradually building your comfort level is a great approach. Here are some methods to help you ease into speaking from day one. Talk to yourself in English. This might feel silly at first, but it's an effective way to practice without the pressure of an audience. Describe your day, talk about what you see around you, or explain your plans to yourself in English. 
This helps you get used to forming sentences and thinking in English. Use language learning apps with speaking features. Apps like Duolingo, HelloTalk, or Babbel often have speaking exercises where you repeat words and phrases. These can be helpful for practicing pronunciation and rhythm, and they give you instant feedback. Set small, achievable goals. Start by speaking one or two sentences each day. Describe what you're doing or name objects around you. Then, gradually increase the length of your sentences. For example, if you're drinking coffee, you could start with, I am drinking coffee. Later, add more detail. I am drinking coffee because it helps me focus. Shadowing technique. This involves listening to native speakers and repeating what they say right after them. You can use a video, podcast, or even a movie. Try to imitate their pronunciation and intonation. This technique is great for improving fluency as it allows you to practice both listening and speaking. Find a language partner. If you can, find a language partner or join a speaking group. Many people are in the same boat as you, wanting to practice but feeling unsure. Practicing with others can make speaking more enjoyable and give you real-life context for your English skills. Removing the fear of mistakes. Understand that mistakes are part of the journey. No one expects you to be perfect, and every speaker, no matter how fluent, has made countless mistakes. The key is to embrace these mistakes as learning opportunities. Instead of focusing on what you got wrong, think about what you learned and how you'll do it better next time. Every sentence you speak brings you closer to fluency. By speaking from day one, you create a routine of practice that will speed up your progress and build confidence in using English, even in unfamiliar situations. The takeaway here is simple. Don't wait. Speak from the first day, embrace the process, and celebrate every step forward. You'll be amazed at how much you improve just by practicing consistently, even if it's just a few sentences each day. Step 3. Focus on good English input. Input is one of the most powerful tools in language learning. In fact, it's how we naturally learn our first language as children. We listen to others, we absorb the patterns, and over time, we begin to understand and communicate. For learning English, focusing on listening and reading, or input, exposes you to the language in a real-world context, teaching you how words connect and sentences flow. When you listen to English every day, even if it's just for a few minutes, you immerse yourself in the language's rhythms, pronunciation, and structure. Similarly, reading in English shows you how ideas are expressed, expands your vocabulary, and introduces you to various styles and registers of the language. Here's how you can make the most of English input and why it's essential to do so consistently. The importance of consistent English input. Consistent input in English brings the following benefits. Improves vocabulary. Listening to conversations or reading articles exposes you to new words and phrases in different contexts. This not only expands your vocabulary, but also teaches you when and how to use those words. Builds comprehension skills. Over time, you'll begin to recognize patterns, phrases, and sentence structures. This will allow you to understand more complex conversations and texts naturally. Enhances pronunciation and intonation. Listening to native speakers helps you absorb the natural pronunciation and rhythm of English. This can make your own speech sound more fluent and clear. The more time you spend on input, the more you'll begin to think in English. This means that instead of translating from your native language, English expressions and phrases will start coming naturally to you. Choosing the right content. When selecting content, it's crucial to find materials that are both engaging and suited to your level. Here's a guide to help you choose content based on your current abilities. Beginner level. If you're just starting out, look for simple, 
everyday English. Children's books, beginner podcasts, and slow, easy listening English channels on YouTube are great choices. Some YouTube channels are specifically designed for English learners, using simple vocabulary and slower speech. Intermediate level. At this stage, you can handle more complex topics and faster speech. Look for podcasts on subjects that interest you like travel, cooking, or sports. English language news for beginners and shows with English subtitles are also helpful for expanding your vocabulary. Advanced level. As an advanced learner, you can experiment with native level materials. Listen to podcasts, read novels, watch movies or TV shows, and explore news articles on complex topics. At this level, challenge yourself with diverse sources to gain exposure to different dialects, styles, and accents. Recommended types of input. Here are some ways to incorporate listening and reading into your routine. Podcasts and audiobooks. Listening to native speakers can expose you to a wide variety of expressions, intonations, and accents. Choose podcasts on topics you enjoy to make listening more engaging. Audiobooks are also a great option, and you can pair them with the written text to reinforce both listening and reading. YouTube videos and TV shows. There's a wealth of YouTube channels dedicated to teaching English at various levels. You can also watch popular TV shows or movies with subtitles to better understand conversational English. Shows like Friends or The Office are great for learning casual language. English news websites. Reading news articles helps you stay updated on current events while building vocabulary related to specific topics. You can try websites like BBC Learning English or CNN, which offer simplified news articles for language learners. Books and articles. Starting with easy books or children's novels can build your reading skills and confidence. For advanced learners, novels or online articles on topics that interest you are ideal. Reading will help you recognize grammar patterns, new vocabulary, and English sentence structure. How to maximize your input practice. To get the most out of listening and reading, follow these tips. Practice active listening. Instead of passively listening to a podcast, try to focus on individual phrases and words. Pause the audio to repeat sentences or mimic the speaker's intonation. This approach, known as shadowing, will help improve your pronunciation and listening comprehension. Take notes of new vocabulary. When you encounter new words, phrases, or expressions, write them down. Review these regularly and try to use them in your own sentences. Repeat and rewatch. Repetition is key in language learning. If you listen to an episode or watch a video multiple times, you'll start to pick up on phrases, improve your understanding, and increase your confidence. Challenge yourself. Gradually increase the difficulty of the content you consume. If you're comfortable with one level, move up to the next. This will keep you engaged and continuously learning. The key. Make input enjoyable. It's important to choose content you enjoy. If you love cooking, watch cooking shows, or listen to podcasts about food. If you're interested in technology, follow tech news or read blogs on the subject. When you're engaged in something you find interesting, it doesn't feel like studying. Instead, you're absorbing the language naturally, just as you would in your native language. In summary, Focusing on quality English input, whether through listening or reading, is essential to building fluency. By incorporating engaging and level-appropriate materials into your routine, you'll reinforce what you're learning and make English a regular part of your life. Each day of listening and reading brings you closer to thinking, understanding, and speaking English with ease. Step 4. Consistent Speaking Practice when it comes to gaining fluency, practice isn't just helpful, it's essential. Speaking consistently allows you to build confidence, 
improve pronunciation, and train your mind to think in English. Many learners hesitate to speak because they fear making mistakes or feel they aren't ready. However, starting to speak early and sticking with it is one of the quickest routes to fluency. Fluency is not about knowing every single word. It's about being able to express yourself clearly, even if your vocabulary is still growing. The key to progress is consistent, intentional speaking practice. Let's look at why speaking practice is so crucial, how you can start speaking daily, and two powerful techniques to make your practice sessions more effective. The importance of speaking practice. Consistent speaking practice benefits you in several ways. Increases confidence. The more you speak, the more confident you'll become in expressing your thoughts. This confidence is a huge motivator, making you less afraid of making mistakes and more willing to try new vocabulary or sentence structures. Builds muscle memory. Language involves not only your brain, but also the muscles in your mouth. Regular speaking practice develops muscle memory, which helps you pronounce words and form sentences smoothly. Trains your mind to think in English. Consistent practice helps you start thinking directly in English rather than translating from your native language, which speeds up your responses and improves fluency. How to practice speaking every day. To make speaking a daily habit, start with small, manageable activities. Here are some practical tips to get you going. Speak to yourself. This might feel a little strange, but talking to yourself in English is a powerful way to practice. Describe your day, talk about your plans, or explain how you feel. You can do this while getting ready in the morning, cooking, or any other quiet time. Practice with a language partner. Find someone you can practice with regularly, like a friend, tutor, or fellow learner. There are plenty of language exchange websites and apps where you can meet others who are learning your native language. It's a win-win situation. You practice English, and they practice your language. Record yourself. Use your phone to record yourself speaking on different topics. Listening to the recordings afterward helps you catch mistakes and improve your pronunciation. Over time, you'll notice how much progress you've made. Join a conversation group. Many online platforms offer conversation groups where people can practice speaking English together. Look for groups that meet regularly and align with your time zone or schedule. Use English in everyday situations. Try using English in real-life situations, like ordering coffee or asking for directions. These small interactions build confidence and let you practice English in a natural setting. Techniques for effective speaking practice. Two techniques can dramatically improve your speaking skills. The mirror technique and shadowing. Mirror technique. Practicing in front of a mirror may seem simple, but it's a powerful way to enhance your speaking skills. Here's why it works and how to use it. Why it works. Speaking in front of a mirror lets you see your facial expressions, body language, and mouth movements. This can help you adjust how you pronounce words and make your speech more expressive and natural. It also builds confidence as you are speaking to someone, even if that person is yourself. How to do it? Stand in front of a mirror, choose a topic, and start talking. Describe what you did today, talk about your favorite book, or explain a topic you're passionate about. Watch yourself as you speak to ensure you're pronouncing words clearly and using natural expressions. Start with a few minutes daily. And as you grow more comfortable, gradually increase the time. Shadowing. Shadowing is another powerful technique, especially for improving pronunciation and intonation. This method involves listening to native speakers and repeating what they say in real time. Here's how to make the most of shadowing. Why it works. Shadowing trains your ear to pick up on the natural rhythm, speed, and pronunciation of English. It helps you match native speakers' intonation and flow, 
which is essential for sounding more natural. How to do it? Find audio recordings or videos of native speakers talking. Ideally, start with materials that have subtitles so you can follow along. Listen to a sentence, pause if needed, and repeat what you heard. Try to mimic the speaker's tone, speed, and pronunciation as closely as possible. At first, it may be challenging to keep up, but with time, you'll get faster and feel more comfortable with the rhythm of spoken English. Example of using shadowing. Suppose you're shadowing a YouTube video about travel. As the speaker describes their experience, listen closely to how they express excitement, describe locations, and share recommendations. Try to repeat their sentences, focusing on both the words and the emotions they convey. Practice with purpose. To get the most out of your speaking practice, it's essential to set clear goals. Each day, choose a specific area to focus on. Pronunciation. Focus on clearly articulating each word and mimicking native intonation. Fluency. Work on speaking without too many pauses, even if you're using simpler words or phrases. Vocabulary. Try to incorporate new words you've recently learned into your sentences. A helpful way to measure progress is by recording yourself once a week. Choose a short, simple topic and talk about it for a few minutes. Each week, compare these recordings to see how much you've improved. This progress tracking can be very motivating. In summary, consistent speaking practice is vital to reaching fluency. By incorporating techniques like the mirror technique and shadowing, you can make each practice session more effective, helping you speak more naturally and confidently. Remember, fluency is built one conversation at a time, so make speaking a daily habit. Every sentence you speak brings you closer to mastering English step by step. Step 5. Master Basic Grammar Grammar is often seen as one of the trickiest parts of learning a new language, but it's also the backbone of effective communication. While it's not necessary to become a grammar expert, understanding some basic rules can significantly improve your ability to create clear, correct sentences. By mastering fundamental grammar concepts, you'll be able to communicate more confidently, even if your vocabulary is still developing. In this section, we'll discuss why basic grammar is essential, which rules are the most important for beginners, and how you can learn these rules in a simple, effective way. Why focus on basic grammar? Basic grammar provides a foundation for constructing sentences expressing ideas, and making yourself understood in English. Here's why it matters. Clarity and accuracy. Knowing how to use correct grammar helps you avoid misunderstandings. Even a small change in grammar can alter the meaning of a sentence. So having a strong grasp of the basics ensures that your message is clear. Builds confidence. When you understand fundamental grammar, you can form sentences with confidence, making you more willing to speak and write in English. Supports language growth. Grammar is like the frame of a house. Once you have the foundation, you can build upon it, adding new vocabulary and more complex structures. Essential grammar rules for beginners. There are many grammar rules in English, but not all are necessary for basic communication. Here are the most important rules to focus on as a beginner. Simple sentence structure. In English, the standard sentence structure is subject plus verb plus object. For example, I eat breakfast. This basic structure can help you form clear, simple sentences. Present simple and past simple tenses. These two tenses cover most everyday situations. Present simple, e.g., a walk to school is used for routines and general truths, while past simple, e.g., I walk to school, is for actions that happened in the past. Question formation. Questions are essential for conversations. In English, questions are often formed by using auxiliary verbs like do, 
and does for present simple, e.g., do you like coffee? And did for past simple, e.g., did you go to the store? Pronouns and possessive forms. Pronouns like I, you, he, she, and possessive forms like my, your, his, her, help you talk about people and belongings. Knowing these allows you to form sentences like, this is my book or she is my friend. Basic prepositions. Prepositions like in, on, at, to, from help indicate relationships between objects or locations. For example, I live in New York or she goes to work. Subject verb agreement. In English, the verb changes slightly depending on the subject, especially in the present simple tense. For example, he walks instead of he walk. Paying attention to this rule makes sentences sound more natural. Articles and, and the English uses a and, and then to talk about specific and general things. A and an are used for nonspecific items, e.g., a book, while the is for specific items, e.g., the book on the table. How to learn basic grammar. Learning grammar doesn't have to be complicated or overwhelming. Here are some strategies to help you get started. Start small and build up. Focus on one rule at a time. Begin with the sentence structure and present simple tense. Then move on to questions and past tense. Taking it one step at a time helps you avoid feeling overwhelmed. Practice with simple sentences. Practice creating sentences with each new rule you learn. For example, when learning the present simple tense, write out sentences about your daily routine like I work, I eat, and I study. Use grammar apps and websites. There are many resources available for learning English grammar. Apps like Duolingo, Grammarly, or websites like BBC Learning English provide interactive exercises that make learning fun and effective. Listen to native speakers. Listening to native English speakers can help you understand grammar and context. Listen to simple podcasts, watch YouTube videos, or tune into English conversations to hear how these rules apply naturally. Focus on communication, not perfection. Grammar mistakes are a natural part of learning. Don't let the fear of making errors hold you back from speaking. Instead, focus on getting your message across. With practice, the grammar will improve. Learn common phrases. Memorizing basic sentence patterns or phrases can give you a head start. Phrases like, I want to, can you? I am going to provide a framework you can use to communicate in many situations. Review and practice regularly. Grammar is best learned through repetition. Set aside time each week to review the rules you've learned and practice them through speaking or writing. Grammar practice in action. Here's an example of how you can apply grammar rules to form sentences. Simple sentence. I work in an office. Present simple question. Do you work here? Past simple. I worked yesterday. Using pronouns and possessives. This is her pen. Using articles and prepositions. I have a meeting at the office in New York. Keep it simple and keep practicing. To gain confidence with grammar, remember to keep things simple. It's okay if your sentences aren't complex. What matters is that you can express yourself clearly. Basic grammar, when used consistently, helps you build a strong language foundation without the need for technical grammar knowledge. So take it one rule at a time, practice daily, and you'll notice progress before you know it. Bonus step, focus on all four skills. Achieving fluency in English requires a balanced approach, one that develops all four core language skills, listening, speaking, reading, and writing. Each skill complements the others and contributes to a well-rounded understanding of the language. By actively practicing each of these skills, you'll build confidence, deepen your comprehension, and accelerate your progress toward fluency. Why all four skills matter. Mastering only one or two skills won't give you the full language experience. 
Here's why each skill is essential. Listening. This skill is fundamental for understanding native speakers and learning pronunciation, intonation, and common expressions. It also helps with picking up subtle nuances like tone or context, which can alter the meaning of words. Speaking. Speaking is crucial for building confidence and allows you to put what you've learned into practice. It's a hands-on way to improve your vocabulary, grammar, and pronunciation. Reading. Reading helps you expand your vocabulary, reinforce grammar, and understand sentence structure. It also provides insight into different writing styles and tones. Writing. Writing strengthens your ability to organize thoughts, use grammar accurately, and recall vocabulary. It also gives you the chance to express yourself in a detailed and structured way. Tips for developing each skill. Focusing on all four skills may seem like a big task, but it doesn't have to be overwhelming. Here are some practical ways to integrate each skill into your routine. Listening, podcasts, and audiobooks. Listen to beginner-friendly English podcasts or audiobooks that match your level. Podcasts like English Class 101 or BBC Six Minute English are good choices. Watch videos and movies with subtitles. Start with English subtitles to help match spoken words with their written form. As you progress, try watching without subtitles. Practice active listening. Don't just listen. Take notes on new words, phrases, or sentences you find useful. Try repeating what you hear to improve pronunciation and comprehension. Speaking. Practice with language partners. Find a language partner online or locally to practice casual conversations. Apps like HelloTalk or Tandem connect you with people who can help you improve. Record yourself. Choose a topic, record yourself speaking about it, and listen to the recording. This helps you hear your own pronunciation and grammar, giving you insight into areas to work on. Use daily expressions. Practice saying basic sentences out loud like, what time is it? Or how are you? This builds confidence and familiarity with common phrases. Reading. Start with short stories or articles. Begin with simple reading materials like short stories, news articles, or blogs written for English learners. Websites like News and Levels or Simple English News provide content adjusted to your level. Read aloud. Reading aloud helps you practice pronunciation, improve fluency, and get comfortable with sentence structure. Note vocabulary and expressions. Keep a journal of new words or expressions you encounter while reading and review them regularly. Writing. Keep a journal. Write about your daily experiences, goals, or thoughts. Start with short sentences and gradually work up to paragraphs as you gain confidence. Practice descriptions and summaries. Summarize books, shows, or conversations you've had in English. This helps organize your thoughts and gives you a chance to use new vocabulary. Get feedback. If possible, share your writing with a friend, teacher, or language partner for constructive feedback. They can point out areas for improvement and help you refine your skills. Integrating all four skills. To get the most out of your practice, try combining these skills in creative ways. Here are a few examples. Describe a podcast or video. Listen to a short podcast or video. Then write a summary of what you heard. This activity improves both listening and writing skills. Read and discuss. Read a short article or story, then discuss it with a language partner. This combines reading and speaking, helping reinforce the material. Listen, repeat, write. Listen to a podcast or movie line. Repeat it out loud, then write it down. This strengthens listening, speaking, and writing skills simultaneously. Consistency is key to make steady progress. Dedicate time to each skill every week. A balanced practice schedule could look like this. Monday, 
listening and speaking. Wednesday, reading and writing. Friday, integrated practice like summarizing a podcast or discussing an article. The reward of integrated learning. Developing all four skills will create a richer, more comprehensive understanding of English. You'll be better equipped to communicate, understand native speakers, read with ease, and express yourself in writing. This well-rounded approach is essential for reaching fluency and will empower you to use English confidently in any situation. Conclusion Progress Toward Fluency Fluency in English is a journey, and each step you take brings you closer to mastering the language. The process may seem challenging, and it's natural to experience moments of frustration, but remember that every bit of effort counts. By dedicating yourself to consistent practice and applying the strategies we've discussed, you're building a strong foundation that will ultimately support your fluency. Celebrate small wins. As you progress, celebrate the milestones along the way. Learning a new phrase, understanding a conversation, or even just feeling more confident speaking. These are all signs of progress. Recognizing these small victories will motivate you and remind you that fluency is an attainable goal. Consistency over perfection. Perfection isn't the aim. Consistency is. It's easy to get caught up in small mistakes or feel discouraged when progress seems slow, but the real measure of success is staying committed. Fluency doesn't happen overnight, and everyone's journey is different. By practicing each day, even in small ways, you'll build the skills needed to speak, listen, read, and write in English. Review and Adapt Learning a language isn't a straight line. It's a series of adjustments and improvements. Regularly review your goals, assess what's working, and be willing to change your approach when necessary. Whether you need more speaking practice, a focus on grammar, or engaging with new listening materials, adapting your learning methods to suit your needs will help you make faster progress. Stay motivated. Fluency in English opens up new opportunities, from connecting with people around the world to accessing a vast amount of knowledge and resources. Remind yourself of these long-term benefits whenever you feel unmotivated. Keeping your end goal in mind will help you stay focused and resilient in your journey. Your path to fluency. The strategies in this guide are designed to support you from the basics of survival English to the more advanced stages of consistent speaking, listening, reading, and writing practice. By following these steps with dedication, you're well on your way to fluency. Remember, each practice session, every new word learned, and each conversation in English is a step closer to reaching your goal. So keep going. Your journey to fluency is unfolding with each effort you make. With time, patience, and persistence, you'll find yourself communicating confidently, understanding deeply, and using English with ease. Thank you for joining me on this journey toward English fluency. If you found this guide helpful, please don't forget to hit the like button to show your support. It really helps more people discover these videos and join our community of English learners. I also encourage you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. By subscribing, you'll get notified every time I post a new lesson, ensuring you won't miss any of the valuable tips and resources we share here. Learning a language is always easier with consistent practice and guidance, so stay connected and keep learning with us. And if you know someone who could benefit from this guide, please share this video with them. The journey to fluency can feel a bit lonely at times, so let's help more people feel supported and motivated along the way. Finally, I'd love to hear from you. Drop a comment below sharing your biggest challenge in learning English. Maybe it's vocabulary, confidence in speaking, or mastering grammar. 
whatever it is, let me know. Your feedback not only helps me understand what topics would be most helpful in future videos, but it also allows us to support each other as a learning community. Thank you for being part of this journey. Keep practicing, stay motivated, and I'll see you in the next lesson.